So I'm watching TV and bow blows. My kids are asleep. 6.30 a.m. they wake up and if I don't have this puppy running, I'm in big trouble. But I'm betting that I can change that bulb right here on this TV two minutes or less starting now. So first thing we need to do is move the TV away. Now what you want to really have is a flashlight ready to go and the first thing you see is that it says warning disconnect TV before proceeding. So luckily I have it all on one big power switch back here. Mind the octopus of power. TV's off. Now find the bulb. This is a DLP flat screen TV. I really like it. It has a bulb. A beautiful picture. Wonderful. Wonderful to work with. And back here is a screw which pulls out the panel. This just pulls right out revealing the TV. Revealing the bulb for the TV. Now, if anybody remembers old TVs with the press board, cardboard situation, with all the exposed electronics, everything still housed inside the TV, but the bulb assembly is actually, the bulb is actually inside a lamp, and there are two, I don't know if you can see them, two small screws that just attach the assembly to the monitor, to the TV itself, and you just loosen those so they're free, and now I'll talk with a suit with flashlight in my mouth so you can't understand a word I'm saying. So you just loosen these screws back here. Remember, you've turned off the TV so you're not getting shocked. So you remember, turn off the TV and then pull. The whole assembly comes out. Inside there is the bulb and as you can see, it is shattered. You want to be careful because glass can leak out of here. This is a whole assembly, simple to replace. Power plugs in there, boom, piece of cake. Now the bulb from the manufacturer for this guy is about 220 bucks. And I had it replaced once before, had the extended warranty which paid for itself because it paid for the bulb and paid for this guy to do the service call. The guy did the service call, came in, I asked him how much it cost. It cost nothing because I had the extended warranty. But if I didn't have the extended warranty, his service call was $250. Think about that for a minute. This is all he did. New bulb, new assembly, bright, beautiful. Don't touch that. Okay? Because that's the screen you don't, that's the front of the bulb. You don't want to touch that at all. Line up the bulb. In it slides. We say that again. In it slides. Boom, in and tighten the screws. I think we might be actually at three minutes, but that's not so bad. Now, some people say, oh, you can buy the bulb cheaper. You can just get a bulb and replace it in the assembly. You can, probably. It's not, doesn't look that simple. But you want to be really careful because these are high pressure bulbs. So you don't ever want to touch the glass of the bulb because it, if the oil of your finger gets on that glass, when the bulb glass heats up, the oil will evaporate, cooling the glass and shattering the glass, and that's high pressure inside. And also, I think there's mercury in there, and that's not a really good thing to do. So you want to be really careful when working with the bulb. The beauty of working with an assembly is you never actually have to touch the bulb. All the connections are made for you. We've tightened the door panel, we're locked, we're safe. We turn on the TV, pull it back, and voila.